Hi, I'm Mike with Cradle Point. I'm a carrier development manager and I work specifically with AT&T. And today we are here to unbox this E300 router. Please like this video and subscribe to our Cradle Point for AT&T channel. Um, what we're here today to do is we're gonna unbox this E300 and I'm gonna walk through the basic feature set with you and I'm going to show you how easy it is for your customers to bring a Cradle Point uh, online and you know power it up, get it ready to go. All right, you see the actual box. It's got uh, you know very clearly you can see which router it is. You've got a really nice uh, uh, drawing on here. All the serial numbers on the side as well, and opens up quite easily. And you see when you open this up for the first time, there is a get started guide. And this is uh, referring to CradlePoint Verify. Uh, CradlePoint Verify is an application that uh, your customers are actually going to download onto their smartphone. It makes it really, really easy to install and get started with the particular device. Some incredibly tiny uh, legal writing that I haven't been able to view for about 10 years now. All right, put that to the side. Here is the E300. We've got mounting gear if you wanted to mount this router on the wall. Uh, you have um, some feet you can put on the bottom of the device, protect your desk, and you have an incredibly tiny screw, which is incredibly important. So uh, make sure you keep that. You have four cellular paddle antennas, which accommodate all of AT&T's frequencies. You have a cellular alignment tool, which there is a cardboard piece right over the router which talks about how to use a cellular alignment tool. Uh, also on the back of this particular piece of cardboard there is a wall mount template. And then we do have the E300 router. This is a beautiful piece of hardware. It is uh, kind of an industrial plastic, um, not very heavy because of that, which is nice, but super durable. This is a, a 5G ready branch router and it is designed for fixed or temporary locations. This can be very easily moved from location to location. This particular router is designed to support uh, a branch with anywhere from 5 to 15 people. The E300 can be provisioned with an integrated 4G LTE modem, the category 4 modem, or a category 18 gigabit LTE modem. So if your customer needs more bandwidth, they can go ahead and you know, move towards the CAT18, less bandwidth to the, to the CAT4. Another important feature with this particular device is that it does support Wi-Fi, uh, and uh, there's no separate Wi-Fi antennas for this device. It's actually the Wi-Fi antennas are integrated, and it is Wi-Fi 6, so you have essentially the latest generation of Wi-Fi capabilities with this particular device. Let's turn this around. I'm gonna actually show you some of the features here. The first thing you notice is you've got four cellular antennas. There is a GPS uh, port as well. You can put a GPS antenna. You've got power uh, and a power switch right here, a USB port, SFP plus uh, port on here. You've got five ethernet ports on here. These are gig ethernet ports. Uh, one of them is set up as WAN, but these are LAN WAN switchable. And then you've got here an expansion port, and this is really important and exciting. You know, CradlePoint just came out with a Bluetooth uh, module, MC20 Bluetooth module. So if you've got customers in retail or in finance, uh, this is a great way that they can, say, do proximity marketing. Let's take a look at the front of the device. Uh, you've got the Cradle Point logo up here. It'll light up here as soon as we power this on. You know, lots of lights over here. Uh, and then you've got this modem bay door. So I'm going to actually open this up because this is very important. The E300 has one integrated modem, but it also supports an additional modem. You may have a customer who needs additional bandwidth or a customer who would prefer to have diversity with their router. And you can add, I just happen to have right here, an MC400 modular modem. So the modular modem can simply be plugged into here and you would snap that in and you would add, the, put the door back on and then you know, you're able to have diversity with two carriers, kind of an active-active uh, situation. I'm not gonna put that in for right now though, uh, but let's go ahead and uh, insert the SIM. And you see I have my AT&T SIM and we're gonna go ahead and install that into SIM 1. It's clearly marked so 
It only goes in one way. It cannot be installed incorrectly. So I've got the SIM installed in slot one, and then we're gonna go ahead and take the door and put it back on here. Here's where the tiny screw comes into play, All right? So we'll go ahead and put it out here, and this Phillips head screwdriver is really the only tool that you need to, to get this up and running. It is magnetized, but it is important that you put the screw in here because the device will turn on, however, the device will not actually uh, send data or connect in, if that screw is not in there. So it's very, very important for you to know. All right, let's go ahead and put on these uh, cellular antennas. And this is where the cellular alignment tool comes in. You actually pop the first and third antennas up, and then you snap this on. There we go. All right, and so that is actually set up and that will give optimum reception. Let's go ahead and power this on. Happen to have the power cable ready to go here. All right, so it's gonna go through its uh, boot up process. Please note that new Cradle Point devices are automatically added to the customer's NetCloud account on our end, but status information is not updated until the router connects and checks in. All right, so we are powered on here. It's a beautiful router, and you see all these wonderful lights. You see the Cradle Point logo is lit up. You have this white bar here. You've got the, uh, the, the power indicator, and this is either gonna be amber or green. It is amber right now. So for me, this is telling me there's an alert. Uh, the next one over here is Wi-Fi, and then the next two are a VPN indicator, and then you also have uh, the modular modem uh, indicator. And because I have that empty, uh, it is blank. And then the last one here would be 4G, and so this is passing data uh, right now because it's green for go. And then you see cellular signal strength indicator. Again, I'm here in my basement, and I've got four bars. Kudos AT&T. So I have not gone into NetCloud at all, and this thing is ready to go. It's still a great idea for your customers to log into NetCloud because right now this is operating with uh, the default configuration. At the bare minimum, your customer is going to want to go in here, they're going to want to change the Wi-Fi system ID, they're going to want to change the, uh, the password for the Wi-Fi. On the bottom of the unit, there is a sticker, and that has all the defaults on it, right? The system ID and the passwords are all on here, as well as the uh, device IMEI, as well as the cradle point uh, serial numbers. Sometimes those come in handy. So that... All right, this E300 is up and running. It was just a couple of minutes. Easy! So what's next? And you want to engage with us. So we have set up an email address specifically for AT&T for you to reach out to us. It goes to our AT&T team and we will contact you. The email address is attdeal at cradlepoint.com. So that's the easiest way to connect with us. And again, uh, you can get quotes and procure through the IS Express Center. And you do have a select number of devices available to procure directly through Opus as well. If you've liked what we've talked about today, you want to learn more about Cradle Point, reach out to us and we will connect you and give you a link to enroll in our Network Ninja program. The Network Ninja program is designed specifically for AT&T and it allows you to earn certifications uh, on Cradle Point products. And right now we just added recently 5G certifications, so it's a great way for you to learn more about Cradle Point. Thank you for your time today and look forward to working with you going forward. Have a great day.